blue chip red meat. We'll visit the high-end beef company that supplies the steaks for the real power lunches. We're back in two minutes. Up next, we're going to talk about not pens, but steak. That's something you can get your teeth around. And then there's Creekstone Farms Beef. They supply the steak to some of New York's ritziest restaurants. A serving of blue chip red meat is on the power lunch menu. It is time to take a number, and according to the USDA, the total U.S. retail value of beef consumed in 2009 was $80.6 billion. Now, that's down from $82.7 billion in 2008. All I can hear is the mooing in my ear. Uh, but double the amount 20 years ago when the retail beef value was just $45.6 billion in 1989. Total U.S. beef consumption was 26.9 billion pounds in 2009. Where's the beef? A lot of it. So Thanksgiving is all about turkey, but if you like red meat, then this coming story is for you. When you're cutting into the steak over your next power lunch in Manhattan, take a moment to chew on this, as Tyler Matheson reports. Chances are few New Yorkers think about places like... Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Kansas. Yes. Yes, Kansas. But it's some of New York City's A-list restaurants, like the Standard, Del Posto, and Mineta Tavern. There's no place like it. These popular eateries all serve beef from Creekstone Farms in Kansas. These look good. Mineta Tavern's executive chef, Riyad Nasser, says Creekstone's Angus looks and tastes like Wagyu or Kobe beef. Their beef program is leading the pack in the country, and, and their product uh, is, is, is just superior. While some of Creekstone's competitors buy cattle from thousands of ranches, the decade-old company handpicks cattle from only about 100 farms and brings them here to the company's $185 million packing plant just north of the Oklahoma border in Arkansas City. At this 450,000 square foot slaughterhouse, 700 workers process 150 carcasses an hour, roughly 1,200 head per day, which is slow. The industry average is double that. But Creekstone claims it's all part of the quality that chefs Thank you. appreciate. And you stick with them, it's a great product, can't be beaten. Manetta Tavern buys 12,000 pounds of Creekstone beef every week from the farm's exclusive distributor in the Northeast, Pat LaFrieda Meats. And it's here in New Jersey, just outside of New York City, that LaFrieda's butchers carve up 300,000 pounds of Creekstone cattle every month. So after everything is sliced and diced, Creekstone says it profits between $10 and $40 per animal. Total revenue last year, $370 million. We will continue to see growth in the uh, higher end uh, white tablecloth restaurants, not only in New York City, but around the country. Creekstone projects 7.5% sales growth this year. In fact, La Frida Meats can hardly keep up with demand. There's not enough of it. Definitely not in Kansas anymore. Tyler Matheson, CNBC Business News. See that? That was marrow right there on the end. It's delicious. That shot up again. That looks so good. <laughs> I've got a turkey tomorrow, but I don't know. Coming up. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's what happens marrow. when you do power lunch. That's what that's I'm talking about. That's an irony. You never get a power lunch. Oh, my God.